Hey there everyone, what's up? Hope you're all doing great. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to import Mixamo animations into Roblox Studio. Step by step. Before we dive in, make sure you have Roblox Studio installed, Blender ready to go, access to the Mixamo website, and of course, the Moon Animator plugin set up. All right, let's jump right into it and bring those animations to life. Let's start by importing the avatar we want to animate. Open Roblox Studio and use the Character Inserter plugin. Before that, create a folder on your computer to keep everything organized. With the plugin, select your avatar and make sure to choose the correct body format. Mine is R6. This is important because if you don't, exporting the OBJ file will create two texture files instead of one, causing issues later. Once your avatar is inserted, align it with the base plate, right-click the model, select Export Selection, and save it in your folder. You should end up with three files, an OBJ, an MTL, and a PNG. Now, we're ready to move on. Now, open Blender to import the OBJ file we exported from Roblox Studio. First, let's clear the workspace. Select everything and delete it. Then go to File, choose Import, and select wavefront.obj. In the window that opens, find the OBJ file you saved in your project folder and import it. Once imported, your avatar might not be aligned properly. To fix this, click Set Origin and choose Geometry to Origin. Then make sure it's aligned with the ground. If you want to see the avatar's texture, simply click on Viewport Shading. Finally, let's export the file. Choose File, then Export, and select FBX. In the Export settings, under Object Types, check only Armature and Mesh. Once that's done, save the FBX file in your project folder, and you're good to go. Now let's head over to Mixamo. It's free, but you'll need to log in with your Adobe account. Click on Upload Character, and select the FBX file you just created in Blender. Once the file is uploaded, use the arrows to orient your avatar to Face Forward, and click Next. Next, place the markers on your model, as shown in the example on the right side. Once done, click Next again, until the program shows you a preview. When you're happy with the preview, click Next. Now, choose an animation you like and make any necessary adjustments. Once you're happy with the changes, click Download. In the Download settings, select FBX with Skin, 30 frames per second, and None for keyframe reduction. Click Download and save the file in your project folder. At this point, the file name will usually be the name of the animation. We're back with the project exported from Mixamo to Blender. By now, you already know how to import an FBX file, so let's bring in the animation file. This time in the Import settings, select in Armature the option Ignore Leaf Bones. Why? This option prevents unnecessary small bones, like leaf bones, from being imported, which keeps your rig cleaner and easier to work with. Once the animation is imported, I usually adjust the timeline's end frame. You'll notice small dots in the timeline below. These indicate the number of frames in the animation. Adjust the end frame to match the approximate frame count. All set? Now it's time to export again, but we'll need to tweak the export settings. Set Path Mode to Copy. This embeds the textures directly into the FBX file, making the transfer process smoother. Select only Armature and Mesh under Object Types. Scale the model down to 0.01 to fit Roblox's size standards. Uncheck NLA strips under the animation options. This ensures only the active animation is exported, avoiding any extra or unwanted animations. Finally, click Export to save the FBX file, and we're ready for the last step. Now let's import the animation we just exported from Blender. Use Import 3D and select the FBX file you just saved. In the Import settings, check the option Insert Using Scene Position. Why? This ensures the avatar and animation align properly in the scene without needing extra adjustments. Next, open the Moon Animator plugin and click on your imported avatar. On the right panel, select the same FBX animation file you used for the import. Your avatar should start moving right away. To view the animation timeline, double-click the animation name.
Press space to play the animation, and there you go. Your avatar is now fully animated and ready to use however you'd like. I hope this tutorial was helpful. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like. See you in the next video.